Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. We are back at it, and we're going to dive into an upcoming release. So, no, I do not have it today. <laughs> do not get it twisted. I do not have Old Forester 1924. Not today. Yes, this is 1920. I could write a little four in here. But, uh, no, no, all jokes aside, we're going to dive into, um, you know, Old Forester 1924. So, if you're like me, many people, including myself, was really excited when I heard the news that Old Forester is coming out with a brand-new product called Old Forester 1924. So, um, you know, I had a lot of different people reach out. Certain patrons, uh, subscribers, people reached out and they're like, Judge. And honestly, everyone had the same thought that I had. A couple of different things that kind of ran through my mind and ran through my uh, my fellow whiskey lovers' mind, minds as well. You know, a couple of thoughts. Number one, is this going to be like a standard release? Like 1910, 1920 in this case, um, and all the other products that uh, Old Forester has. Or is it going to be like super highly allocated? Think of like your birthday bourbon. Like sure it comes out, but I mean you have to almost, I mean gosh, you got to sell like your kid. <laughs> I mean you have to sell like your firstborn child in order to get a bottle of Old Forester birthday bourbon. So, or is it going to be like one of those releases where, you know, it's just so hard to get kind of like birthday bourbon or kind of like this King Ranch, which took a lot of work. I mean, hard, hard work to get a bottle of this King Ranch. Is it going to be that like highly, highly allocated? So, you know, I'm thinking to myself, you know, I have all these questions. Obviously, a lot of my patrons as well as subscribers had these questions as well. I figure we can go ahead and do a quick episode to kind of dive into it, like at least kind of what we know and what we don't know. Cool. All right, so let's just kind of to kind of go through everything that we know about what's called Old Forester 1924. So, number one, they're supposed to be paying homage to the hundred year anniversary of when they began blending whiskey from this from two different mash bills. So, blending whiskey from two different mash bills that, of course, obviously uh, occurred back in 1924. So, they're supposed to be paying homage to it and you know putting this bottle out. We believe at some point either later this summer, maybe even into next year by the time we all see it. Um, but again, upcoming hundred year anniversary of, um, when they, again, began to blend whiskey from two different mash bills. That's what they're kind of paying homage to. But also what's probably even more important than just that fact is the fact that this is the first time Old Forster is actually going to have an age statement on their bottle. Yes, you're going to see age 10 years. First time you will ever see an old Forester product with an actual age statement on it. That by itself is pretty cool. So age 10 years. What else do we know about this? So when you think of old Forester, old Forester, um, a lot of people know that they are, they're very much known for heating or heat cycling their, their rick houses. So they essentially heat up their, their rick houses to have a consistent temperature no matter what floor you're on. And that's essentially what they're what they've done in, in the years past and what they've always done. Uh, in years past to uh to kind of take you know their whiskey that's aged for the most part four to six years on average and really kind of create a lot more character depth and consistency and it almost tastes like whiskey that's aged seven eight nine years if you will so that whole heat cycling kind of um uh, process, if you will, it really does help them to make sure that their whiskey is very consistent, but then also very solid whiskey that you can always rely on and really have almost like the same kind of impact. So if you if you buy a bottle of 1910 or 1920, it's going to be very much similar to the last bottle of 1910 or 1920 that you had as well. So that's one cool thing about the whole heat cycling process. So this would be the first time that they actually took older whiskey that went through the same process potentially we assume we don't know for sure that we don't know um but this will be the first time that they took 10 year age whiskey by itself so not four to six years but 10 year age whiskey and are putting it in a bottle uh throwing the label on as age 10 years coming in at exactly 100 proof question is is it going to be similar to 1910 which is 93 proof will it be any what similar to 1920 which is 115 proof Probably not. I don't know. I mean, honestly, I don't know. I don't know. Um, that's, I guess, like the big question out there. So we shall see. But, you know, in the interim, I need a quick sip. Cheers. Mm. Whew. So this is the King Wrench. That's 105 proof. Will it be similar to that? Odds are probably not because... With King Ranch, if you, if you remember, they use a mesquite charcoal, which is slightly different than what they normally would use. So that, that this is, of course, completely different. So it's probably not going to be like King Ranch. 
but I do wonder, H10 years, 100 proof, um, you know, it's there's a lot to talk about when it comes to Old Forester 1924, but I want to hear from everyone out there. So three quick, easy favors. Start with the most important. Number one, drop me a comment. Let me know what are your thoughts on Old Forester 1924. Are you excited about the age statement? Are you thinking that it's going to be super allocated? Um, do you think it's going to be one where, you know, from an MSRP standpoint, it's going to be even like price fair? And if we do find it, you know, our most liquor stores probably going to uh, hike the prices up, which probably will happen. Drop me a comment. Let me know your thoughts on it. Also hit the like button. And last but not least, please make sure you also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get a notification each and every time I release new content. Cool? All right. Awesome. Cool. Um, so a couple questions that I have, I also wonder in my own brain, I was thinking, you know, I was thinking about like just the availability of this whiskey, you know, because whenever I guess a new, let's call it, whenever a brand puts out a new product, you're typically not putting that out in like mass production. It's not going out to like, you know, every single store of like where you could find like 1910 or 1920. So I'm wondering from an availability standpoint, is this going to be like very, I mean, extremely highly allocated that no matter what you do, you really can't find it. So I don't know. I, am I happy? Is the judge happy about Old Forester putting out a new product? Yes. Am I happy about my odds of actually being able to, to get a bottle of it? I'm not happy about that. Not at all. Not at all. But what I will say is, if I can find Old Forester 1924 at a decent price, let's call it, you know, um, I don't know the exact uh, MSRP. And that's the other thing, by the way, right? We know the proof is 100, but I don't know the exact MSRP. But if I can find a bottle for less than 100 bucks, like maybe 100, 125, I actually would be okay with buying that, right? I mean, it's going to be a special release age 10 years um I, I think i would be okay with spending up to like 125 dollars for it you know just kind of knowing what the, the quality of uh whiskey that old forcer is putting out i mean when you think about just brown foreman in general all of their sub brands no matter if it's old forester or woodford reserve or jack or whomever all of their products are always top notch so i can't imagine that this brand new 1924 is going to be bad i mean it is old force at the end of the day. It's the truth. I mean, we all love 1910. We all love 1920. Hell, even the bottle and bond is delicious. I mean, so everything they put out is always really, really good. So I would envision, and I would envision that this too has to be equally, if not better, it should be. I mean, age 10 years, we shall see. Well, friends, we're at the end of the road here. Like me, we will all be on the hunt. Again, this is supposed to be coming out I've heard July, but in many cases, by the time it makes its way all across the U.S., it might just be 2024 by the time you or I see it. We shall see. Hey, friends, until the next time, peace, cheers, and most important, salute. Take care.